Uh, you comfy there, Levi? Yeah. Good. Happy for you. Okay, so we've got a, a Scorpion video coming up for you uh, this time round. Uh, a bit of feeding, a bit of a catch up on how the the plant houses are doing that I did uh, the other day. Uh, one thing we would like to say, uh, first and foremost, is a huge big thank you uh, to all our subscribers. We've just hit 150, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm really chuffed that we've made it this far. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll continue onwards and upwards. Uh, a second thank you. I would like to say to Silver Spiders, uh, I sent him some of the Euscorpius Italicus babies, uh, one of which he's named Wee Man, and one of which he's named Little Lad. So we feel absolutely honoured and humbled to have uh, pets named after us and think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, so yeah, we just want to say a huge thank you uh, for that as well, because it's absolutely friggin' awesome. Uh, having anything named after you is... Uh, is, is pretty cool uh yeah so we're well chuffed we're well made up with that totally made my day when i watched that video uh, so do check out silver spiders videos uh subscribe to his channel and see how the babies i sent him are getting on and again thank you very much uh we uh we're we're uh we're living on through through little little scorpion babies our names shall forever remain uh, anyway, right, on with the scorpion uh, videos. We've got uh, a couple of the Scorpius babies uh, eating ourselves uh, and just a few other bits and bobs. And as I say, a catch up on how the tanks are looking uh, after they got planted. Here they come. There's one of them feeding on a spring tail. Dump toward a spring. Oh, there's a tiny wee spider in there. I'll need to get that out. There, that's one feeding on a spring tail. Let's see if any others are feeding. That one's jumping, doing on something. Nom, 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 nom. Quite a lot of these look like they could be getting ready to molt, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, as you can see, it's certainly enjoying. Nope, oh, and off it goes to hide. Away from the bright light, it's shining on me. Don't worry, this hasn't miraculously paused. You gonna do something? Come on girl. Anything would be nice. No, I'm just gonna sit and stare at your food. Yummy. Well it's not even gonna sting, it's just getting eaten face first. Oh well. Lovely. Face first chomp. This is the male uh, Euscorpius italicus. I if he'll show more mercy than the female.
That's not me having a wee wee, that's me filling up his water dish. Right, we'll just oh, flip him back over and let him enjoy his lunch in peace and quiet. Okay, so this is just a wee update on uh, the planet setups we did. Uh, we're now, that was Monday, and uh, this is now Thursday. Um, as you can see, the, the scorpion in this one was just under here. It moved when I was offering it food, but didn't feed. Um, but as you can see, they're looking non too shabby. Uh, these are getting sort of watered regularly and misted. As this one was already broken, unfortunately, from the bag when I was carrying it up the road, but the rest of it looks like it's doing okay. So let's see how the others are looking. Okay, so this one's still looking quite nice. This plant here is a wee bit of it will give that a drink. One thing I have noticed that's developing in here is little mushrooms. And if we flip it round into the hide area, we've got mushrooms going. Obviously, it's nice and dark and the correct conditions. Kind of tempted just to leave them and see uh, what happens because I can't see that they're going to be overly harmful. Um, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments if you think I should remove them or just leave them and let it just take that natural look. Um, but anyway, there seems to be stuff growing in there so must be doing okay. These are apparently large locusts. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to create these uh, sort of visual hides is so that when I'm feeding I can actually uh, see what's going on. Oh, don't seem to be much happening but anyway, let's move on to the next one. Friendship made in heaven, but uh, other than that, you can see the actual uh, setup is doing just fine and dandy. Other than uh, somebody clambering about on the edge and now has a wee friend living on them, but uh, yeah, oh well, feeding doesn't always go to plan. She is tucked right down in here, right in this back corner. But as you can see, the actual uh, setup still looking quite nice, I think. Let's see if we can. Try and get that locus into her. There we go. Can't really see anything very well, but the locus is in there. Locus is here, and she's just uh, in here. There's the locus. There's her. But yeah, still looking quite lush, quite green. As I say, they were set up on Monday, uh, and it's now Thursday, so a few days in, and all seems to be uh, looking good. Right, okay. Right, bye then. Uh, okay, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It was just uh, the rest of the scorpion showed absolutely no interest in feeding or anything, so I didn't see the point in putting the footage in uh, to just to see them run away or the food just showed no interest in getting eaten. Um, but anyway, because yeah, food shows loads of interest in getting eaten. It's, it's one purpose in life is to get eaten. Mm. Uh, but anyway, the, the scorpion showed no no interest in feeding. Right, uh, just what I really wanted to quickly say again was thank you uh, to everyone that subscribed. Uh, hopefully if this is the first time you're watching the video, you'll subscribe based on what you've seen and hopefully watch some of the other videos. Uh, thank you again Silver Spiders and thank you for all the feedback on the arachnophobia video I did. Uh, a lot of really positive feedback on that which gives me food for thought. Um, so in the meantime, uh, do take care of yourselves, do behave, do have lots of fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.